The past couple days, a blog post that Lita Kino did has been making its way around Twitter, asking the question of what made people click on an anime-related video and or blog post. And since my platform is YouTube, I thought I would make a video response to the topic, plus I could share the idea with more people and maybe they could even add their insights. So yes, the topic is what's in the title. What makes me click on an anime video that either pops up in my subscription feed or just general recommendations or I come across somehow. And for me, most of the videos that I watch are because of one of two reasons. The first is the person who made it, and then the second one is that the topic is something that interests me. The first of these, the person behind the video, this is often involving the personality that they put into it. For example, Gigic with the comedy that he includes in his videos, or someone like Arcada, or someone like Arcada or Black Critic Guy with the more theatrical way they present their opinions and rants because it is a lot of fun watching them rant about bad anime. These are the types of channels that I like watching beyond just the content they produce, but I watch it for the person specifically. With Arcada's case, for a while he was doing those uh, Loot Crate unboxings, and I watched most of them not because I was overly interested in Loot Crate, but because I just liked his videos and liked seeing more of him doing stuff. There are also channels I follow because I consider them friends. I like seeing what my friends have to say about different topics. For example, a recent video that came out was from Shadow Blazer 3000, which was a mid-season video about the different Aaron anime. And while it's not a topic that interests me all that much in general, I wanted to see what he had to say because he's someone I respect, so I'm curious if he will point out an anime that I might have missed. Plus, he is someone who normally looks at the more obscure anime, so I like hearing his opinion because it's different than people who only watch and hype up the big shows. And then the second reason that I will watch a video is if the topic itself interests me. And this is harder to pinpoint exactly what would make me watch a video. Because if you're going to attract me to a video solely on the topic, then it has to be something that I'm already interested slightly in the topic, but also something I feel like your video will present to me something I have not seen before. For example, I am very interested in My Hero Academia as you have probably noticed. But I feel like I already know it really well, so like a generic review of it would not tell me anything new. Like, I already know what makes it bad and good, so I have no interest in watching a random person go on about that. But what I might want to watch is a video that looks at an aspect of it I haven't considered. Unique Namasaurus did a video about the scars and the motifs of that throughout the series, or Mighty Pie's video about the mangaka and his journey to make My Hero Academia. Which, to be fair, these videos aren't completely based off the topic alone, as I already followed both these YouTubers, but they were a video that I was really excited to see when it came out. An example of a video I watched purely based off the topic that was one from the channel Alexandixer, I think that's pronounced close to right, I'm sorry if it's not, and it was about Scar from Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Again, if you don't know, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is one of my favorite anime ever. Probably the top one, though, it and My Hero Academia are close. So yes, I am interested in the show. But I get to see a video that really delved into the character of Scar beyond like saying he's a good character, and so this video was really able to do that and add something new that I had not seen before. And really, that channel just has a ton of interesting ideas, but the problem is a lot of these are for shows that I am not interested in because I'm not seeing them and I'm trying to avoid spoilers, like his most recent video on Hunter x Hunter. Though, to be perfectly honest, it's rare that I watch a YouTube video just because of the topic, unless there's already some reason I want to watch something from that creator. And even then, I admit, I don't watch all that much. If it's about a show I've already seen, then like I already have my opinion so I don't need someone else's. And if it's a show that I want to see, I don't want to watch the video because I want to avoid spoilers. And if it's a show I'm not interested at all, then why would I watch a video on it, unless there's a reason based off the person to watch it. I'm also not a fan of episodic content since I'm behind on, I think, everything? So like the people who make these videos every week on an episode, I just don't care. Occasionally I will watch it for like a first impression to let me know if I should watch the show, but that's about all. And even then, the people who make videos I do generally like and from people I know, there are a lot of times they'll make videos that I just don't watch. For example, my friend C Tactics is a great YouTuber, makes a lot of interesting videos about manga, which lets me learn more about a story I might be interested in, but he also does a lot of episodic content, which I'm like, I don't care, I'll just skip those. 
So yeah, that's my thoughts on what makes me watch a video on YouTube. Let me know what your thoughts are, if you agree with me, if there are other reasons I didn't think of, and yeah, that'd be cool to see. Or even make your own video, that way this topic can get around to more people. I think it'll be really interesting to see different people's perspectives on this topic. And I'll include a link down below to Lita Kino's blog, which introduced it, along with some other things I have seen on the topic on Twitter and another blog, and anywhere else I discover while editing this. Assuming I don't forget to put that in the description, which knowing me, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.